Hello everyone, welcome back to Varlabanda. This is Ali Shah Khan. So guys, after a long time, I'm reviewing a custom room here for OnePlus 5. The room is called Extended Room version 18. So guys, this room is made for OnePlus 5 and 5T devices. Unlikely OnePlus owns Oxygen OS. This room uh, provides so many features, so many extra features that will make you amaze. So guys, uh, I'm going to review this room, Extended Project or Extended Room version 18 uh, for OnePlus 5 devices. And guys this room is based on Android Pie and you can clean flash as well as dirty flash this room on any operating system on your OnePlus devices. So guys, uh, special thanks to the developers for creating this beautiful room. Now let me start a review. So first of all guys let me show you Android version is Android 9 and here is having 1 August 2019 security patch and um, build date is Monday August 12. Now guys let us move back to the home screen and let me start this review by um, first of all talking about the features of this room. Really beautiful and really cool features of this room. So let me press the home button first. Okay guys now let me show you the first very first feature of this room. So guys the thing you are seeing right now on the screen is called app circle bar and it is available in extended room. So guys this is a cool feature you can uh, move to any app from any app by just uh, sliding over the edge of the screen. So guys when you open the settings the very first thing that you will find is extensions. Extensions having all of the customizations at one place in this room. So okay guys, so very first thing you are going to see in extensions is OnePlus Shade. So in OnePlus Shade you are going to see all of the features that one uh, OnePlus uh, own Oxygen OS provides you. Like OnePlus gestures and the slider control and yes you can also enable um, display settings like uh, controlling the colors, the RGB values. So guys, all of the OnePlus features you are going to get in OnePlus Shade inside the extensions menu you can control the vibrator strength and you can calibrate your display with the colors you want just like you do in oneplus's oxygen os so guys you will get all of the oneplus features in oneplus shade next is animation you can uh, set your scale timing of animations and next is buttons you can set your own uh, button shortcuts from here you can enable music control from volume key you can enable or disable the hardware keys you can swap between the keys of back and recent applications and you can enable accidental touch so you won't get disrupted while playing your favorite games. Now let us move to the next big thing which is decor room. So guys in decor room you will find all of the features which will help you to customize the user interface of this room. So guys customizing is really cool. So guys in extended room you will find a system theme support which will help you to customize a different theme with different colors. So guys you will get 9 pre-installed themes there and you can create your own theme also. Uh, you can also change the uh, dashboard icon style and QS style styles. So uh, right now I'm using the neon style for QS styles. So you can see the neon uh, buttons are visible here on the QS styles. Okay guys, so the next thing is uh, I can change from many different uh, icon styles. So guys, I have changed from neon to OOS which is oxygen OS. So as you can see the QS style settings icons have been changed. So we can change from many options there. So guys, uh, we can also change the battery style which is uh, right now I'm selecting Q style from here. So Android Q is having this type of battery icon and I have uh, converted to that. So guys, uh, battery styles are also there. We can enable the battery bar on the status bar. Okay, and we can enable the gestures from here. Now we are in the gesture sections and here we can choose between AOSP gestures, carbon gestures, gestures anywhere and pie control gestures. Pie control gestures are as same as something which I have shown you in the beginning of the video which is called app circle bar. Now let's move to the lock screen customization. Here we can set the clock style to Android Q and guys we can also change the font of the clock and the date and time. We can enable or disable lock screen shortcuts such as application on the lock screen and we can enable or disable the quick unlock features like quick unlock with face lock and and quick unlock with fingerprint sensor so whenever you boot your phone you have to uh, enter your pattern lock or password for the first time before unlocking with fingerprint of face unlock so guys this will bypass that you can enable quick unlock with face lock and fingerprint you can also enable or disable the lock screen charging information and also enable or disable the uh, animation of charging on the lock screen now let us move to the nav bar buttons or navigation bar button settings so guys from here we can enable on screen navigation bar and customize all of the things related to that next come notification settings so guys in notification settings you can enable heads up notification and breathing notifications uh, and also you can change the color of the leds for uh, custom applications and also enable and change the color of the charging led okay guys now let us move to the power menu in power menu we can enable the advanced restart option and we can enable or disable custom options like a screenshot, airplane mode and many other options in the power menu. In quick settings you will find options to rearrange the icon in the quick setting and also customizing them. So, 
okay it is a common feature in all of the rooms so guys in recent menu you will find uh, recent styles of android oreo android pie which is quick step and a grid style layout and also android go so you can choose between them we can also enable the clear all button which will work in all of the three or four options and we can also enable the memory bar button but it will only work in oreo style recent so guys you have to choose oreo style and then enable the clear all button and the memory bar so it will be great so guys next come the status bar settings so in status bar settings we can enable or disable the network traffic indicators or network traffic monitor whatever you call it and we can uh, enable or disable other status bar icons from here okay so next come system settings in system settings we are having a special feature called smart pixels when we enable it it will disable all of the unused pixels on your display and it will save a lot of battery we can also select the percentage of pixels to disable so i choose 25 and it will provide me a lot of extra battery life so it is a really great feature but keep in mind that enabling smart pixel will show up some pixelized lines on your display so here we got some battery saving options like aggressive battery and sensor block per package which will block the sensors for some applications the next and the final feature of extensions is extra options which is having system app remover keyboard and ime options and also app circle bar which i have shown you in the beginning of the video so you can add applications to the app circle bar which you want to launch so guys it is really a great feature app circle bar you can also change the screenshot type from full to partial screenshot and you will find some other useful features in the extra options so guys here we are done with the features of this custom room now we are going to move to the bugs and fixes section so guys first of all let me tell you that this room is not having any single bug so if there are no bugs then there are no fixes required so no bugs no fixes because volti is working volti calling is working and normal calling is working there are no issue camera is working you can also enable or you can also install the gcam from here like uh, let me show you gcam is also working here and you can click images also no error no issue uh, i don't know about the front camera because uh, i haven't checked it i'm doing a voiceover so i cannot uh, do a recheck up i have also uh, added my fingerprint so the fingerprint is also working the face log is also working and as you can see the data is also working here no issue with data and Wi-Fi and Bluetooth is also working also NFC is working so there are no hardware issues or no software issues in this custom room so guys this room is pretty stable and let me show you fingerprint is working okay fingerprint is working and guys uh, let me move to the setting and uh, you can find a smart lock in which you will find face lock here and uh, let me show you the fingerprint are added so this is my pattern uh, you can see the trusted face here you can add your trusted faces and also unlock your phone quick unlock your phone by using your face so uh, face lock working fingerprint working no issue everything is good everything is fine so guys for gaming for pubg gaming actually this room also provides a dedicated gaming mode which will block all of the notifications and some of the applications in the background so you can get a fluent gaming experience so guys i'm providing a link of the xg thread for this room so from where you can get the instructions to install this room and all of the downloads for this room so guys if you liked my video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to keep getting this type of videos thank you